Aloha, my friend. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. How you doing today? Are you staying positive? Are we working on maintaining our PMA, positive mental attitude? Woohoo! You know how we do that. We focus on the positives at all times, and that way we develop the habit of maintaining a constantly possible, positive mental attitude. And that's important to know because what if you want to know what's for lunch? I'm positive that it's going to be something good. How about this? Pay attention. We've got the following color codes right here. We've got these different shades of purple for our different lunch types. Salad, burger, pizza, sandwich, and the like. And then right over here, we've got a drop down that whenever I pick, for example, sandwich, it'll be the matching color right over here. So what we want to do is we want to create a drop down list with conditional formatting built into it that allows us to match colors. Like for example, when I pick salad, we've got the matching color. Now I pick uh, burger. There it is. Boom. Got the matching color. We'll look at pizza. There's the matching color. Here's sandwich. When I pick sandwich, conditional formatting applies that color that is connected to sandwich. And then right, we have right here is we have a dependent dropdown. This dropdown list right here depends on what we select over here. And we're using an indirect function in here. Last week, I taught you how to create this dependent dropdown list. Today, we're just going to learn how to color code our drop down list in our data validation series check it out all right there we have it Okay, so there's a couple of steps we could take. We could create our data validation first, or we could create our con conditional formatting first. So let's go ahead and just, just do our conditional formatting first. Since we're already, since we're going to be moving, we're going to work on the Home tab first, then we're going to move to the Formulas tab, and then we're going to move to the Data tab. So since we're working in that direction like that, let's just start with our data validation. Excuse me. Let's start out with our conditional formatting. And I say conditional formatting because anything that has to do with formatting is located on our Home tab. So let's go to our Home tab. And right in here in our Home tab, we see in our Styles group, we have what's called conditional formatting. And it's exactly like the name applies. It applies a specific formatting once a condition that you specify is met. And in this case, the condition is, is going to be when the text in here is equal to the some text over here, then apply the color that we selected for that specific text. So let's click in the cell where we want to add the conditional format and put a marquee right here inside this cell G2. Then I'm going to launch conditional formatting and I'm going to say I want a new rule. Click and now check this out. In this new rule, I'm going to format cells that contain. All right. So the rule type is format only cells that contain. Now check it out. Specific text. So here's where I'm going to go ahead and tell Excel what is the specific text and the specific text that I want is when it's equal to that text in cell A2. Format cells with a specific text containing whatever's in that cell. And then now I'm going to go right ahead and pick what the format is for that. So I click on format. I'm going to go to my fill and the color for that one is this one right here. Boom. Yep. And I press OK, and then I press OK, and there I have my conditional formatting in there. Now let me go ahead and manage my rules. I'm just going to duplicate this one right here. So let's zoom in real, real quick, and I'm going to duplicate the rule, double-click. It's the top one right here. Double-click, and I'm going to update it. 
I want it to reference this cell now. Whoops. Let me just select it and clear it out. This cell. So now, format cells containing specific, with a specific text containing whatever's in that cell, B2. Now let's go ahead and pick the format for when we find that specific text. So I'm going to go to Fill, and it's this next shade right here. So I press OK. OK. And then now, let's duplicate that rule. Click. And then double-click on the rule with a duplicate. And this one, let's go ahead, is going to format cells only with specific text containing whatever's in that cell, C2. So I clicked on it right there. Now I'm just going to pick the color that matches. So let's go to format, and it's going to be this color right there. Okay. Okay. And now let's duplicate that rule. Double click. And now we're going to adjust our reference here to reference text contained in that cell. And now the format for that one is this next shade. So I click, click OK. Click OK. Apply. OK. Now let's add our data validation in there. So the first thing that I'll do is let's go to the formulas tab. I'm going to select this range of data right over here. And I'm going to define a name. So we select that range of data. We go into our formulas tab. And right in our define names group, we have create from a selection. So let's go ahead and say create from selection. And now Excel is asking me create names from values in the top row or the left row or what rows. So I'm going to say, hey, right here, just from the top row right there. Okay, cool. So create names from values in the top row. So I'll deselect left column. So now I press OK. And so now when we go to our name box right up here and we look, we've got defined name ranges. So when I click on burger, boom, there's my burger. When I click on salad, boom, there's my salad. So now let's add our data validation right inside this cell. Boom. The conditional formatting is already in there. All that has to happen is the word that we choose has to appear. So let's just say I type in salad. Boom, it's working so far. Okay, now let's just add the data validation. So we'll go to the data tab. Data validation. Let me escape right out of here one more time. Zoom in so you can see it really good. I'm going to the data tab. And then we're going to go to the data tools right over here. And this one is data validation. Remember that what you're seeing on my screen could be a little bit different than what you're seeing on your screen, depending on the size of your screen, because as you resize the screen, the, the tools and the views inside your ribbon are all going to adjust. So this is a full screen view right here. So here I'm going to just click data validation, select the data validation. And for the validation criteria, we're going to allow a list. And the list is, I'm just going to go ahead and select this range right here. That's the list right there. So right inside the source, I told it that this is the source, that list right there. All right, cool. Now, we could put an input message or an error alert, but I'm not going to. I'm just showing you how to color code your drop downs. That's it. Now we're going to press OK, click. And now we have our data validation working. So I, I pick a burger. There's the burger color. I pick a salad. There's a salad color. Pizza. There's a pizza color. Sandwich. Yes. Woohoo. How easy was that? Now you know some data validation. Now think about what you can do. And we, we're combining data validation with conditional formatting. And data validation is just a fancy way of saying drop down list. And there's so much more you can do with val data validation. I mean, just check some of the videos from last week where I've, I've already shown you two other techniques that you can apply using data validation for your drop down list. Are you enjoying these tips? Can you benefit from these? I think you can because I and many other people have benefited from them. So check it out. Click on the link in the description anywhere around here. Depends where you view it. If you view it on Facebook, the, the link is going to be right up there. If you're viewing this on 
YouTube, the link is going to be in the description right down below. And it's just going to take you to this website right here where it explains my 30 favorite shortcuts. So we got a live workshop. It's going to be two live sessions and you get two complete courses so that you have instant access. Let's say you sign up today. You don't have to wait until Thursday the 14th and Friday, October 15th to attend the live class where I'm going to teach you my 30 favorite Excel power tips live online. Sign up now and you get instant access to these two full length courses. So come on now, click on the link in the description, scroll through this landing page, get an idea of all of the different things that you're going to learn and all of the courses that you get, these two courses right here. Then just boom, buy now. Just like that, my friends. And I want you to know, I love you. And I want you to keep on learning. But most of all, don't get mad. Get skills. Aloha.